Well, good morning or afternoon, students. Um, before watching this video, please make sure that you have um, a calculator handy because we are going to be working out some math problems. Um, today, we're going to be looking at the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and speed. And you can see the relationship, which we call an equation, where speed equals wavelength times the frequency. Now before we dive in, let's get a little bit of background on our units. When you hear the word wavelength, because it's a length, length is usually measured in meters, and so we're going to use meters for that. Frequency is defined as crest per second or waves per second, which is one over second, so it's one per second, and that is denoted by the hertz, okay, capital H, lowercase z. So when you take the wavelength, which is meters, times the one over seconds, you would get meters per second, which is our unit for speed. Okay. So let's try a few practice problems here. And so it says, what is the speed of a wave if the frequency is 25 hertz and the wavelength is 5 meters? So again, if we do the short version, the abbreviated version, speed equals the wavelength, which we denote as a lambda, which is a Latin symbol times the frequency, where the wavelength is 25 hertz, and the wavelength is 5 meters. So when you take 25 times 5, you get 125. And because this is a speed, this is going to be meters per second. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video for a second because I want you to try example problem number two by yourself. And then once you finish problem number two, I'll, then you can play the video again and I'll show you guys the answer. Okay, so let's see how well you did. So we know that speed equals the wavelength times the frequency. And it says here that the wavelength is 2 and that the frequency is 17. So 17 times 2 is 34 and speed is measured in meters per second. So if you got 34 meters per second, give yourself a pat on the back. If not, you might wanna go back and look at the first one again. All right, now here, when we read this problem, it says, what is the frequency? So here, we're actually solving for a different piece of the puzzle. So we know that if speed equals wavelength times frequency, and that we are trying to solve for the frequency, we have to divide both sides by the wavelength. Wavelength over wavelength cancels. So we know that the frequency of our wave is going to be the speed divided by the wavelength. So if we look in the problem, it says the speed of the wave is 40 meters per second. And it says that the wavelength is 2 meters. So 2 meters goes on the denominator. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And look back to what we're solving for. We're trying to solve for the frequency. Frequency is measured in hertz. Pause the video. Try the second example problem. All right, let's see how you did. So we're looking for frequency, which is speed divided by wavelength. The speed of the wave is 50 meters per second. The wavelength is 5 meters. 50 divided by 5 is 10, and our unit is hertz. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back if you got that one right. Okay, now when we read this next example problem, this one says what is the wavelength? So now we're trying to find the third piece of the puzzle. So if we go back to the original equation where speed equals the wavelength times the frequency, now we're trying to solve for the wavelength. So we would divide both sides by the frequency, Frequency over frequency cancels, that goes to 1. So the wavelength is the speed divided by the frequency. Okay. So in this case, when we're just trying to solve this problem, the speed of the wave is 1,500 meters per second. And the frequency of the wave is 200 hertz. Okay. So when we take 1,500 divided by 200, we're going to get 7.5. Because it's a wavelength, our unit is going to be in meters. Okay. Pause the video. Try the second one on your own. 
Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this case, we're trying to find the wavelength. Let me use a different color here. We are trying to find the wavelength. Wavelength equals speed divided by frequency. The speed of the wave is 250 meters per second. And the frequency is 4 hertz. 250 divided by 4 is actually 62.5. And in this case, because it is a wavelength, we get meters. All right, if you didn't miss any, give yourself a pat on the back. If you missed one or two, um, why don't you go back and watch the example problems and then try the practice problems again. Okay, thank you.